Magnet and Ferrofluid Revisited. I'll be showing more experiments than just placing a magnet in Ferrofluid, so if you want to skip to that scene, here's a button for it. Here I have a rare earth or neodymium magnet, and here I have a bottle of Ferrofluid. I'll place this mirror platform on top of the magnet to create a separation between the magnet and the ferrofluid. I'll place this beaker on top of the mirror platform to contain the ferrofluid since it's rather messy stuff. I'll put this drill bit inside of the beaker and you can see that it stands due to the magnetic pull and I'll pour some ferrofluid on it and you can watch how the ferrofluid flows down the drill bit Now I'll give a quick recap of what ferrofluid is, in case you don't already know. Ferrofluid is a magnetic liquid made of three major components. Magnetic particles, and in the case of this ferrofluid, magnetite, iron 2, 3 oxide, Fe304. These particles make the liquid magnetic. The liquid medium, which is an oil, in which the particles are found, and a surfactant which prevents the particles from clumping and keeps them in a colloidal suspension. Here you can see that the fair fluid flows down the drill bit following the magnetic field, eventually making its way to the bottom of the beaker, getting as close to the magnet as possible. few minutes, I'll show how ferrofluid interacts with different magnetic objects. Here you can see how the ferrofluid interacts with a screw eye hook. Here, you can see how fair fluid interacts with the magnetic nail.
Here you can see how Ferrofluid interacts with another drill bit. And here you can see how Fairfluid interacts with the screw. Here, I'll show how ferrofluid directly interacts with the magnetic field. And the moment you may have been waiting for, the magnet in the ferrofluid.
And now, due to popular demand, I will pick up the fair flute. It feels quite weird. It feels as if I'm holding jello, but it's much more slippery and feels like both a liquid and solid at the same time. It also feels very dense due to the heavy magnet in the middle. When I try to poke it, I have trouble breaking through the layer of ferro fluid. This shows how tightly packed and dense the ferro fluid is due to the attraction to the magnet. In this last clip, I'll show how you can remove the ferro fluid from the magnet and save both items for future use. While the process is a little slow, you can use a pipette to remove the ferro fluid. Just in case you can't see that the pipette is removing the ferro fluid from the magnet, I'll put some ferro fluid back into the beaker. You can see that there definitely was fair fluid in the pipette and that it successfully removed it from the magnet. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my second video on fair fluid.